Can I help you? Yeah, I'm just uh, going up to see Elaine Bennis. Bennis? There's no one here by that name. <laughs> oh, she's uh, she's house sitting for Mr. Pitt. Oh, house sitter. Yeah. yeah. What are you, the boyfriend? <laughs> here for a quickie? <laughs> Can I just go up? Well, I get it. Why waste time making small talk with the doorman? I should just <laughs> shut up and do my job opening the door for you. <laughs> How about those Knicks? Oh, I see, on the sports page. Yeah. What makes you think I wasn't reading the Wall Street page? Oh, I know, because I'm the uneducated doorman. Jerry, it's six. Let's go. Oh, that doorman's still milling around outside. He's very peculiar. No, don't that. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Pitt. <laughs> Pitt, how's Scotland? Elaine, are you having a party? A party? Oh, no. That was just my stupid friend, Jerry. All right, he just left. We can go. Because there's to be no entertaining while I'm gone. Believe me, we're not entertained. We were just leaving. Oh, can you grab those empty bottles for me? I need to know what's in the mail. Oh, well, Mr. Pitt, there's really nothing that can't wait. We're trying to catch a movie. Well, you better catch the latest show, because I need to know what's in the mail. All right. I can't go. Hey, buddy. You? What are you doing here? You work at this building, too? Oh, sure. Poor doorman has to work two jobs to put food on the table for mother and baby. No, I live here. That's okay, isn't it? So you work all day as a doorman at one building, then you come home and stand outside your own building? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Look, I I'm not going in your building. I, I really don't have to talk to you. Goodbye. You really think you're better than me, don't you? What? What did you say to the doorman? What? Nothing. He claims that you followed him home and started harassing him? What, does this guy got a personal vendetta with me? What, what did I do to him? Because I asked him about the Knicks? Hey, did you make the movie? No. You want to go tonight? You can pick me up. All right, can we go to a later show so he's off his shift when I come by? So now we have to rearrange our lives to avoid the doorman? Yes, we do. Help you? <sighs> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be gone. I traded shifts with the night doorman. He had some personal affairs to attend to. You see, my fellow doorman and I watch out for each other. We don't stab each other in the back like people in your world. <laughs> Look, I, I don't want any trouble. I don't have a doorman in my building. I guess I'm just not used to talking to them. I'd really just like to be friends. You want to be friends? I'd like to be. Then watch the door for a minute, would you? What? Yeah, I just want to run and get a beer. I'm back in a minute. Well, wait, 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 wait a second. What do I do? It's not brain surgery. You open the door for people who live here, and if they don't live here, don't let them in. Here. Where's this? Oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, wait a second. Hey, hello? <laughs> hey, hey, wait, wait, wait a second. You live here? Of course I live here. I've lived here for 20 years. Now, if you don't let me in, I'm going to call the police and have you arrested. <laughs> you think you're better than me? I can't believe you left your post. He left me there. You see the mind games? Hey, what's, what's, what's going on here? Somebody stole the couch out of the lobby. Where's the doorman? How come someone wasn't watching the door? Jerry, let's get out of here. You're saying I'm responsible for the couch? There was nothing I could do. He said he had a Federal Express slip with your signature on it. Diabolical. I thought of everything. He was setting me up from day one. Is it possible we were victims of a sting? I'm sure he's having a good laugh over this with his doorman buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't even watch the couch? No, I was just messing with his head. 